On December 13th, 1977, the UE men's basketball team was set to fly to Middle Tennessee State for a game right after takeoff. The plane crashed, leaving 29 dead. Wednesday marks the 40th anniversary of that tragic night. Megan Thompson sat down with current head coach Marty Simmons this morning. And Megan, how was that conversation? Well, it was a great conversation, pretty emotional. At the time of the crash, Marty was 12 years old, but he says he can remember receiving the news like it was yesterday. That DC-3 airplane wasn't just carrying the team or the SID or trainers. That plane was carrying the hopes and dreams of 29 people, the hopes and dreams of the entire community hopes and dreams that every day since the school and now coach Simmons try their best to keep alive. I remember my my father was the one that that, that came in and, and uh, told me even though I did not have a connection with anybody directly at that particular time I, I just couldn't believe it just shocked and I, I, I started to cry for something like that to happen I just I just had a hard time you know, being able to understand. A moment in time frozen. People remember where they were on the cold, dreary night of December 13th. An entire community who bled purple and orange couldn't fathom what had just happened. They lost their team. Just talking to people in the community that were here when, when it happened and, and just seeing how emotional they get just to talk about it, you know, just it, it just shows you how much that they really care. That, that, that they were connected. There was a relationship that, that I think uh, makes Evansville so special. Coach Simmons played for the Purple Aces for two seasons in the late 1980s. He was there for the 10 year anniversary and had the opportunity to meet and get to know some of the families. Simmons put on that Evansville jersey and played where those young men played. He now stands where head coach Bobby Watson stood, and each and every day he keeps their legacy alive. They were terrific young men. They represented not only their families, their home communities, but the university, this city, you know, the Evansville community in a, in a special way, and the spirit that they had lives through us and we talk to our players about that you know and and, and that's uh, something that I think I think our guys take a lot of pride in out of the agony we will rise the school the team and the community have done just that all while keeping the memory of the 29 going strong I, I, I never ever see their spirit their legacy ever not not being thought of in a in a in a good way there will always be you know the sadness that that is associated with with losing you know great people but it'll be a part of our history and and tradition and our legacy forever